Good day. Today we're going to talk about Chantelle distortion. On your left hand side you can see a perfect octahedral. You've got your metal center with six ligands around it. So the bond length between your metal and your ligand, the donor atom of your ligand, is equal in all directions. So this is a perfectly symmetrical octahedral without any distortion. Now two types of distortion can happen. You can have elongation in your z direction or you can have elongation in your y direction. When you have elongation in your z direction, it's called actual elongation because this is your actual direction. Or you can have elongation in your x, y direction and it's called equatorial elongation. But the same shape will be obtained when you get compression in your z direction, which means actual compression and equatorial elongation is the same type of distortion. Now you can see in both cases, actual elongation or actual compression, there is a loss of symmetry. Today we will be looking at an example where jean distortion happens. We will be looking at chrome 2 plus in the highest spin state. This complex will have four electrons in the d orbitals. So in the undistorted state, you have three orbitals on the same energy and you have two orbitals on a different energy. Now, in the high spin state, you can choose this fourth electron where you're going to place it in the dz square or the dx square minus y square orbital. So in this instance, we've decided to put the electron in the dz square orbital. Since you have more electrons in the dz square orbital than in the dx square minus y square orbital, there will be more repulsion in this direction. So you can see there will be more repulsion in this direction, which means this ligand will be moving out. So this bond over here between the metal and the ligand, or the metal and the donor atom of the ligand, will become elongated. So we have elongation in the z direction. And that is actual elongation. Now, since these ligands has moved further away, we will have less repulsion in this direction, which means the orbitals in this direction will have a lower energy. So the orbitals containing a z will have a lower energy. And you can see these two orbitals containing z will have a lower energy. So we started off with three orbitals on the same energy level, so these three orbitals are degenerate, and after the distortion, the orbitals with the containing a z will have a lower energy. And on, over here, we've started with two orbitals on the same energy level, so these two orbitals are degenerate, and after the distortion, the orbital with a z will have a lower energy because of the ligand on the z direction moving further away from the metal center. So let's look at this again. So you can see the dz square orbital contains more electron than the dz x square minus y square orbital and therefore there's more repulsion in the z direction. The higher amount of repulsion in this direction causes distortion in the z direction and you can see there's more distortion in this direction therefore this metal donor atom, that bond length, is elongated. So this is actual elongation. But now we could have chosen to put the electron in the other orbital. So now previously we had the electron in the dz square, but now the electron is in the dx square minus y square, which means this orbital, the dx square minus y square, is fuller than the dx square which means there's more repulsion in this x, y direction. More repulsion results in the metal donor atom, that bond length, to elongate. So there's elongation in the x, y direction. So the orbital that is the fullest has the most repulsion, and therefore in the x and the y direction there will be repulsion. So since these ligands have moved further away, the orbitals containing a x and a y has lower energy. You can see here the two orbitals have the same energy, 
Now these bond links has elongated and your dx squared minus y squared orbital has a lower energy. As well as these three orbitals having the same energy in the undistorted octahedral complex, but now it is stored in the x y direction and the orbitals containing a x y has a lower energy. In this slide, it's a, it's a similar story. As you can see, the dx squared minus y squared orbital is fuller, which means there's more repulsion in the xy direction. So there you can see your dx squared minus y squared orbital. So this orbital is fuller than the orbital in this direction, which means that there's more repulsion in this direction, which results in um, elongation in this direction. So actual Compression and equatorial elongation is the same type of distortion and it results in a lower symmetry.